In India, we have two major forms of Indian classical music. The first one being North Indian classical music, or it's called Hindustani music. And the second one, the one that I'm familiar with, is called Carnatic music, which is, which is the classical music of South India. So I've always wondered, how can we make Indian classical seem as cool as it is to youngsters? And how can we prove that Indian classical music is so much more? So I'm going to be playing a little something for you guys, just to give you an idea of what I do.
Thank you. A lot of people ask me, hey, you talk about Indian classical music, but I don't see any tabla on stage. I don't see any Indian music, musical instrument on stage. Well, um, what I believe is art traditions of Indian music exist within the Indian classical music structures. They exist within the music itself. We have, Indian classical music has always been very inviting. So there have always been new instruments that come in to the classical ensemble. Uh, for example, around 200 years ago, we had the violin coming to India, and the violin, being a European instrument, is one of the most important instruments in the South Indian classical tradition today. So the music has always been evolving, and so has technology. What I've been trying to do is bring that technology on board and see where I can take it. Um, so now you can see a couple of really cool gadgets over here, and I'm going to be focusing on them. This is called a Rolly Seaboard. It's built in the UK, and it's meant to be like a next generation version of the keyboard. Um, so all of you must be familiar with pianos, harmonium, and the key structure, the way the keys are built, are very familiar. So if you know how to play the keyboard, you should be able to, should be able to find your way through the fingers, and you should be able to find your way around. But the only thing that makes it really unique is it's one continuous surface. So you can slide between notes. So I have a flute sound that's being triggered on my computer. So let me show you. So you can, you can really slide across. And that's what makes it really unique. Because Indian music is all about the ornamentations and, as you say, the gamaks or the gamakas, the sliding between the notes that makes it Indian music. And another really interesting thing about this instrument is that it's pressure sensitive. So however pressure I put, like how much ever pressure I put, it reacts to that. So if I'm pressing softly, it's soft. If I press loudly, I mean, sorry, if I press hard, it just gets louder. So it's an extremely expressive way to play uh, music, especially Indian music. So if I were to give a little bit of a demo. So that's what this instrument can do. It's, it's a lot more expressive than instruments, electronic instruments that have been introduced in the past. And I'm pretty sure you know what, what's in my hand, right? This is a regular iPad that you can buy off the store. So what's interesting about iPads and smartphones is that you can do a lot with the five fingers that you have. So you can touch, you can slide, there's multi-touch functionality. So I've been inspired by a lot of developers who make applications for music. So you can use all the touch, slide, and press functionality of the iPad to actually make music. So what I have here is an application called GeoShred. It has six lines. These six lines represent six strings. So it models a stringed instrument. So if I press any of these boxes, it's like plucking a string of um, a guitar or a sitar, or you can model whatever stringed instrument you want. So as I said earlier, the sliding functionality of the iPad is really useful. So if I'm playing Indian music,
So I'm going to leave you all with an original composition of mine that I call Epilogue in Sindhu Bhairavi. It's, um, it's a composition based on the Rag Bhairavi in Hindustani tradition and Sindhu Bhairavi in South Indian tradition. Just that I mixed it with dubstep. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>